So I'm going to demonstrate how to replace the UV lamp inside of the ozone chamber as part of the PAM chamber. And typically when an ozone lamp goes, uh, it'll look like this on the inside. What I'm going to demonstrate won't. But so it sits on the inside here, and so we need to get access to it in order to replace it. And so the ozone chamber will be sitting in a mounting bracket. You'll want to unscrew the bottom bracket that has the, the oxygen in, oxygen plus ozone out connections. There will be an O-ring sitting in this groove. Just make sure you don't lose that before you need to reassemble it. And this part, these threads may be coated with vacuum grease. So just be mindful of that when you're touching it. Um, then to get access to the lamp itself, you need to go to the top connector here. And if you have it, a 1 and 3 8 inch socket driver will remove this nut. Otherwise, a pair of channel locks that will fit in there to just gently unscrew the nut. And so now because there's some copper wires on the inside that connect this connector to the top pins on the lamp, the most important part is to not twist those wires so they don't snap off. What you want to do is leave this top piece on gently push down on the connector so that it's clear of the, the cutout on the plate. And then while you're pushing it, pull it out from the bottom. These standoff pieces center the lamp on the inside of the ozone chamber. So those just need to be mounted on both sides when you're taking it out and putting it back on. If I were to Place the lamp, just take the bottom cap off, just unscrew these screws with a 330 seconds hex driver. And there's not much more to it other than that. I'll just go through the motions. So if this lamp is what we we're replacing, you just uh, dispose of that properly. And then put on the new lamp. This connector piece will just go straight on here. And so now you just want to pay attention to the orientation of the two filaments with respect to the connector. Inside the connector, there are four pins that are bigger than the others. Pins C, M, L, and G. Pins C and M should have wires that extend so that they are they connect to the, the, the two pins that extend to these wires that traverse the length of the lamp to the far filament. So you'll just want to make note that those two pins end up like that. At this point, it's a good idea to test uh, the electrical continuity between pins C and M and pins L and G inside the connector, just to verify that the pins on the lamp are making good contact with the socket connector here, all the way through. So now you're ready to reassemble the lamp inside the ozone chamber. And this will take a little bit of practice, um, but basically the most important part is this flat cutout on the connector. You want to try to line up as best as possible with the corresponding part on the cutout here before you push it in so that you minimize the amount of twisting that you have to do. 
once it's more, more, mostly lined up, just kind of push the standoff in. Get it most of the way. And keep pushing it up. If you need to twist it a little bit to get there, that's okay. You just don't want to have to twist it a bunch. And you can just put the nut back on. That blue O-ring um, has to sit on the groove on the inside. So when you're reassembling it, try to keep the ozone chamber uh, straight up and down as much as possible so it doesn't slide out. So you can just finger tighten this. Gently tighten it with channel lock or with a socket. And then the other side, if the O-ring fell out, just put it back in. So that's it's in this groove here. Uh, if you need, you can reapply some vacuum grease and just tighten this on. Remount it in the mounting bracket on the ozone chamber, and that's it.